All right. Um, trivia night two. Before we start, let me make an announcement that trivia night three will not be next Sunday. I decided to take the kids to the ocean next Sunday. I've been banished for 12 years from Ocean City for some Ukrainians threw Tim out of Secrets. My one and only visit to Secrets, they threw Tim out, so I had to go to, and I haven't been back since. It's probably for the better. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but it's something to do, so they want to go. It's our only free day. And then we'll, we'll do a Trivia Night 3 in two weeks. Okay. Sunday at 5 o'clock. That way <laughs> you know that now. I'm sorry that I missed, didn't see it in your seven posts ago in the middle of a big paragraph. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to start off with sports. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Some of these questions in every category are like ridiculously easy. I took into consideration everybody's skill set. Some of them are challenging. So everyone should, like, no, I don't think we'll get a perfect score unless someone's using Google. Um, <laughs> All right, sports. I'll give you one point for each one here. So this is a four-point question on question number one. The four major sports are baseball, hockey, basketball, and football. Who are the current reigning defending champions of each one? This took Amy 10 minutes too. Don't forget to privately message me. What what were the sports again? Baseball, football, hockey, and basketball. Baseball, football, hockey. The four majors. Who are the current reigning and defending champions? been so long since I've watched sports. That's why, <laughs> exactly. I was thinking about it too. I'm like, man, should, should there be new champions had there been sports? But no, there, there would still be this, the exact same champions had sports been going on the entire time. Like my brain wasn't even working. I couldn't even remember who won the last Super Bowl. I was like. <laughs> that took Amy the longest too. I'm like, we were at Disney World for it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with you, Matt. What? No, because, and I'll tell you that right now, because I have all the answers in. If we're going like a similar schedule as last year, Game Two of the NHL Stanley Cup Finals, the second anniversary of the Capitals winning, was yesterday. Oh no, the second Game Two anniversary second anniversary was yesterday so they didn't win until like june 6th or 7th you have a shirt on over there are you an animal so, character sadly capitals is not an answer but i have all the answers here the I'm answers still in may it seems like july yeah uh the champions are the super bowl champions are the chiefs your world series champions are the nationals right <laughs> your stanley cup champions are the st louis blues and the NBA champions are the Toronto Raptors. We got two. <laughs> Yay. Right, but it's been so long, you're like, oh, Jesus. I forgot the Nationals one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, God. We Question number two. Yeah, yeah, because they've been in the news a lot more. <laughs> well, had they won, we were just taking it away anyway. Asterisks. All right, question two. Hopefully it's an easy one. The Rocket Richard Trophy is awarded to the NHL's top goal scorer. Which Washington Capital just was awarded his record ninth Rocket Richard? Oh, 
Are we are we yeah. muted? Quack is not muted. Quack attack needs to privately uh, mute themselves is, so, so they can cheat. That is supposed to be one of the easy ones, right? Yeah, that is an easy one. Okay, so we didn't give away too much. <laughs> this is the uh, me and Kathy uh, John Snow round. We know nothing. <laughs> All right, I mean, there might be an easy one here and there. I may or may not have help sitting next to me though, Becky. <laughs> But yeah, I'm like clueless right now. I'm like, hey. All right, no, y'all. Even good. if Tommy was here, he doesn't sports, so I'd be doomed. Sports. <laughs> all right, it, it is it is Ovechkin, so you're all guys. Actually, he actually tied with somebody else, so he split the award this year. But he does have a record nine of them. All right. So here's a tricky question. What do you call it when a player makes three consecutive strikes in bowling? I actually know this. There you go. I don't know if you know this, uh -huh. but bowling real big with the Pollocks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Bowling was long before baseball. Nice. All right. Yeah, everybody got that right. It's a turkey. Very good. I said some of these were easy, some of these are, you know. All right, number four, this should be super easy, hopefully, because it, it's a back-to-back -back question of easy and then difficult. Who was the subject of the ESPN documentary, The Last Dance? I would take it either one, Matt. All right, so yes, it is either, you wanna say Michael Jordan or the 98 Chicago Bulls, which I thought that's what the primary focus was gonna be. It was straight Jordan and he's a straight savage. All right, so to make it difficult, who was the subject of the ESPN document, documentary, The Band Who Wouldn't Die? You say the band or the man? Yeah, no, the band, B-A-N-D. So you guys can, people who submitted, submitted answers, you guys can try again if you want. <laughs> but I like your answer, Kathy. That was funny. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what she said when we do the answers. All right. Uh, when everyone thought it was the man who wouldn't die, Kathy put Magic Johnson. <laughs> but when it's the band who wouldn't die, it is the Baltimore Ravens slash Colts marching band. So it's a hard question, except I'm when you're going to guess that. Right. When there's a rate, it's about the, about the Ravens. So I thought it'd be kind of a tricky question. All right. Uh, number six, who won last weekend's The Match 2? Live sports on TV last week. What? The Match 2. Who won? I just watched Can we know what two, sport so was this exciting. was? Okay, I'll, it was a golf tournament. Oh, got that. Okay. I would I would have given the clue had someone asked for it.
All right, and the correct answer was Peyton Manning and Tiger Woods. All right, number seven. In 1998, which slugger was intentionally walked by Buckshell Walter Simonbacks with the bases loaded and drove in a run, but still ultimately lost the game, or his team lost the game? Okay, say it again. In 1998, so think of the big sluggers back then. Which slugger was intentionally walked by Buck Showalter Steinmanbacks with the bases loaded and drove in a run, yet his team still lost the game? All right. Sorry, Becky, but it was Barry Bonds. Isn't that amazing, though? Just had the, the nerve to just walk this guy, driving the run. Probably saved him a few runs. It Well, yeah, because the next guy just flied out to right field to end the game. How many championships did the or World Series championships did the Orioles have? I said somewhere easy. All right, the answer is three. Mr. Bob, you want to rattle off the years that they won? Sixty, six, seventy, eighty-three. Yes. All right. Who did the 1980s Olympic hockey team beat to win the gold medal? All right, everyone's answers are in. No, they, they beat Russia to advance to the gold medal game where they ultimately beat Finland. Trick question. Every one of these questions has been a trick question to me. Okay. <laughs> well, I, said it was, I said it was either Finland or Sweden, but for some reason I gave up on Finland. Sweden just seemed like a more logical answer. They're both pretty good. All right, and number 10 of sports. Which Raven caught Hall of Fame quarterback Kurt Warner's first career INT, first career interception? All the answers are in. Believe it or not, back in 1999, Kurt Warner's first interception was caught by Ray Lewis. Damn. I figured the question was difficult, but the answer was easy. You know, everyone's oh Ray Lewis. First name. Anything, have you ever have you seen him catch interceptions? Fair. It's like one season. Fair. <laughs> but everyone knows Ray Lewis. You like when you say the Ravens, oh, I'll just go with Ray Lewis. But Rob Woodson had like seven to ten a season. It's fair. Playing the odds, man. <laughs> All right. So that was sports. Quack Attack, I believe, has nine. Is that accurate? Yeah. <laughs> He's got, yeah. Becky has three. Kathy has five. And Matt also has nine. So let me. Oh. The 1990s. Uh, yeah, they're not hard. 
Although it's kind of funny, the last two questions are about boy bands that I wrote for Amanda and she's not even here. But they're not, they're not hard boy band questions. All right, 1990s. Super easy question to start off with. We'll say. <laughs> what car was OJ in during his infamous car chase? I mean, everyone got that right. See, I told you it's easy. And honestly, I did about four or five 90s quizzes, nailed them all. And then I was pissed because I wrote these on Friday or it was a third, whatever day it was. The day before that, I found Keenan Thompson was hosting a 90s trivia online somewhere and the winner got a year supply of Dunkaroos. I was so mad. But yes, it is a white Ford Bronco. All right, number two. In what year was there no World Series due to a player strike? Kind of a big deal. Maybe a carryover from the sports category. Just for the record, while talking to my dad, he says it was either 81 or blah, blah, blah. And I was like, 81, not in the 90s. So probably not that one. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, 1994. It Cal was a trick question. Cal State Baseball the next year in 95. All right. Continuing on with the 90s, another easy question. What is the name of the beloved teacher slash principal on Boy Meets World? Wait, say that again. What is the name of the beloved teacher slash principal on Boy Meets World? Oddly yeah. enough, he is also on Cameo.com if you want to get a personalized video from him. I feel like I need to because it's pretty old. Yeah. That's right, because you watched all of Girl Meets World too, didn't you? Yeah. In fact, I was getting dinner yesterday and Olivia was watching the episode where Sean marries a a little blonde girl's mom, and he walked in, and I walked in from the from outside. I saw him. I'm like, I had a little tear in my eye. It's the first thing I did when I got Disney Plus was watch all of Boy Meets World. The answer, of course, is George Feeney. Mr. Feeney. In fact, I, I, I was drawing such a blank. I was like, Belding. No, that's Stay by the Bell. I'm like, the, fuck. I'm like, oh, oh sorry, Mr. Bell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> is Miss Pam there too? Now I feel even worse. <laughs> but I, I was like, yes. such a, we didn't even, didn't even hear what you said, Kathy. So. Oh, good. <laughs> she said the F word, mom. Lies. <laughs> Lies. I was drawing such a freeze. I was like, I could see his face and I'm like, Ugh. I hate that. Well, I had to change. I, I saw that question on at least four of the my new quizzes, and I'm like, such an easy question, but I changed the words because there were other principals, like Mr. Turner, or other teachers, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. And the black guy. Exactly. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> what was his name? <clears throat> oh, God. I don't remember. <laughs> Something. Man, chewy. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, this is an easy question, too. Who did Bill Clinton beat for his second term? Who was the Republican candidate? <laughs> Dog is going nuts. Where's your scorekeeper? Oh, I fired her. <laughs> uh. She's really mad at me. And yes, the answer is in fact Bob Dole. Good, Bobby. Bob Dole. All right. Hopefully, here's a tricky one. 
In what year was the World Wide Web introduced to the public? Believe it or not, I nailed this easily. What's that? Oh, can you pop those? Yeah, yeah. All the answers are in. It was 1991. So you guys were all close. Had this been Ramps head, he probably would have given you for being in the area, but it was 91. I guess 1957. Speaking of Ramps head, do we know if he's ever doing trivia again? I don't know. And I guess his wife is due this week, I guess. So I don't know. It's just weird. He just like ghosted us. Yeah. I thought all these uh, things were free now. All these Zoom things. Uh oh. Oh, but I will. Let's see. Hang on, hang on a second. There's no time, Kevin. Go. For our benefit, I will go ahead and do the. Give me one second here. These have been free the entire time. Just give me one second. This is a unforeseen. You guys see my screen? No. Okay. Huh? Matt, do you know who Quisp is? One sec. I assure you, I am not a robot. Are we so sure? Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Okay, we're back. That was definitely unforeseen, it hadn't been like that yet, but enough of the freebies, I guess. So where were we? Okay, so we're on question number six, right? Sure. Yes. You're organized here. All right, Q6. For this, two answers, one point. What are the two types of playing discs in the game of Pog? Another Gabby? What? No. You no answer? Mm -mm. Did right. I did I not answer you? I mean I did, but I didn't yeah. write like Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. It is a slammer and a pog. Wait, I did. You didn't oh. get my answer? No. I I said that. <laughs> I don't see it on here anywhere. Becky. I thought I thought you were asking for a second answer because I wrote pogs and I'm like, no, oh. that is my answer. <laughs> like, no. No. I did write that, I swear. Who cares? I'll give it to you anyway. Where is my chat, though? Yeah, I don't see your oh. chat. like you sent it to us. I did! <laughs> I sent it to them. So they can confirm that, that you sent it. It's okay. We already knew the answer. So. All right. Dang yeah. it. All right. Oh I have God, a I mean, mean load of pogs in the attic somewhere. All right, good. I have them still in a binder. I have those slammers, though. What? But Target has some, I'm at, or even Amazon. All right, let me make sure I hey, change Target my Target has some? I think Target has like a, a kit, yeah, like a Pox kit. Like currently? Yes. Yeah, mm. they were trying to come back last year, but it didn't really work out. I guess the things are still just lingering around. Okay. <laughs> Send that to me next time, Matt. Mm. Bobby, you remember we had a kit where you could make your own? Yeah. Yeah, I used to have a make your own Pogs kit. <laughs> Actually, in fairness, all my pogs are Power Ranger pogs. They're still in my Power Rangers binder from the '90s. That's all I, I have. Power Ranger pogs too. Nice. But I, you know what? Actually, if I'm not mistaken, there's Disney ones in there too. I, just, I, I think I had enough pages to slip them in there too. That's it. Lame. So if there's no softball this year, at least we can have a lime green pogs league. <laughs> but, uh, don't think I won't. <laughs> all right, number seven. What channel aired Supermarket Sweep? The game show that swept the nation. I'm disappointed. No one got that right. That was on Lifetime. Felt like a real man watching the Lifetime channel, but that show was the, that show was the jam. My family was very poor in the 90s. We did not have cable. Fair enough. Fair enough. Back in the 60s? I didn't watch the original. I just watched the... Oh. Maybe I'll try to YouTube that. All right, um, number eight. What is the name of the sheep that was the first successfully cloned animal? Hey, bounce back on that one. The answer, of course, is Dolly. Y'all got it right. <laughs> All 
All right, these are the uh, Amanda specific questions, last two. What boy band is best known for liking girls who wear Abercrombie and Fitch? I don't remember the rest of the words of that song. Something about the summer. I'm over here singing the lyrics and can't think who sings it. Like, yeah. <laughs> on the block had a bunch of hits. Yep. Chinese food makes me sick. Is it, yeah, I it think it's why when girls come home for the summer. Where's the right. Charlotte? What it could be. I got all the answers in there now. It is LFO. I like the other song they had about. Oh, oh dang it! Now I can't think of how it goes. But it was basically my and Amy's relationship in high school. That way. I think about the time that we broke up before the prom, and you told everyone that I was gay. Okay, that, that's that's Amy. Damn. That was, I'm trying to think of the name, name of that song. All right, number ten. What country is Savage Garden from? <laughs> Becky's like hell yeah. Savage that's disappointing. All right, all the answers are in. It is New Zealand. Unless yeah, I was trying to decide between the two. You were close. Yeah, she said, she said Australia, and I'm like. New Zealand is great value Australia. Great value Australia. <laughs> yeah. All right, so at the end of the 90s, Quack Attack got seven there. But he got six. Kathy got five, and Matt got four. So you said the sports evens out with the 90s, except for Quack Attack, who's on Google. I don't think uh, Amanda would have got that last question anyway. I don't think so either. No. But That's a tough question. It is Well, it is, but I really didn't want to look up NSYNC facts or Backstreet Boy facts. All right, so it's time I'm for just happy thing. I pulled LFO out of my butt. Amy used to love them. It is time for the picture round. So... Let me try and do this share thing. I think I learned how to do it. If not, I'll just put it on our Facebook. 16 fictional athletes. Could be movies. Could be television. Let's see here. Right. I think this is how I do it. Let's see if I'm right. One of them better be nope, hot, nope. Rod, because he's an athlete. That is true. All right, this thing crashed. Right, just restore this tab. We are seeing your computer screen if you want to give us your uh, bank passcode. <laughs> Is there a way to make this bigger? Oh, damn dog. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can see that, if not, I'll, I'll also put it on their Facebook group. Maybe I didn't learn how to do it. Stupid reading. Does the one in the bottom left corner even have a name? Technically, Man, that's a deep cut. Technically, <laughs> all right, where are you at here? All right, I'm posting it on our Facebook too. By the way, the one with Keanu Reeves, I'm technically in that movie because I went to the stadium to watch them film that. I'm really mad that I recently found, well, not recently, it's been a couple of years, found out that they were practicing for the Can't game. Can't tell you what his name is though. Oh, no. At Glen Burnie High School, that's where they were. Uh... Oh, yeah. 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 I, I can't see your answers because of the share screen thing. So just tell me when you've submitted your answers, and then I'll go back and grade it. 
Chewy. Come on, dude. I figure some of them are pretty easy, so I threw in some curveballs in there. Let's see another dog outside. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. How are you guys doing? Okay, I can't see the chat then. Oh, it's probably in the way. It probably has the answers. Who was that submitted their answers? Was that Quack Attack? Or was it Matt? I didn't see. I just saw an answer submission. Matt, was it you? Okay, so Matt, so I can scroll up from this one then. Because when I, no, I can't see Kathy now. Okay, now I can see everybody. Uh, yeah, I suck at these. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Floyd and I are both sitting here like, that's that one, that's that one. I'm like, I'm so bad. I can't even think of real people names. So, like, yeah. Amy, Amy would name somebody and then uh, that movie. Right. That person, <laughs> that movie. Like, no, I don't want the movies. I want, she, got, she yeah. got all 16 movies, right? Or TV shows. Right. I'm the worst when it comes to just names in general. So this is just not good for me. <laughs> it's all good though. I guess I will say that 15 of them are movies and one of them is a TV show. All right, so who hasn't got theirs in yet? Becky? Okay, you haven't got your and quack attack. You're still working on it. Okay, you're in, and Kathy's in. I guess, yeah. Okay, so quack attack. I assume that's in. So Becky, you're in. All right, I will grade these in a, in a second. Let's just go over the right answers. Well, that's all the screen up. All right, so top. Oh wait. 
I don't I knew like what this. all the movies were. <laughs> Same. Yeah, so did Matt. Dang it. I hate this. Stop it. Nope. Okay, there we go. All right. Mine's in now. Top left corner. Torrent Shipman. Uh, from Bring It On. Captain. Yeah. Your Captain Torrance. Crash Davis from Bull Durham. Shane Falco, the replacements. Becky, the Icebox O'Shea from Little Giants. Jackie Moon. Do you think that movie? I can't think of that movie. Um, Ernie McCracken from Kingpin. Henry Rowan Gardner from Rookie of the Year. Charlie Conway from the Mighty Ducks. Johnny Lawrence, the Karate Kid. Dottie Henson from the League of Their Own. Happy Gilmore from Happy Gilmore. R Coach Reggie Dunlop from Slapshot. That is Heinz Ward starring in The Dark Knight Rises as Heinz Ward. They just changed the, the Gotham Rogues, but not the, not the Pittsburgh Steelers. White Goodman in Dodgeball. Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn from uh, uh, Major League. League. Yeah, I had it right here. And that is uh, Mark Cooper from Hanging with Mr. Cooper. The basis for this whole category was that picture of Mr. Cooper. So let me uh, get out of this. Back to this. All right, give me a second here. Let me uh, see who did what. <laughs> Maybe. <sighs> Being judgy on uh, Quack Attack's answer here. Which one? You guys have Baumgartner. Oh, yeah, name. don't give that to us. Yeah, that is that his name. It ended in Ertner. <laughs> All right. So for that round there, I have Quack Attack with seven, Becky with eight, and Kathy and Matt both got three on that one. But it makes me feel good. I feel how good. Many, but, of, how many were there? Uh, 16. Wow, we did not do well. Right. So I feel good because I made it a little hard, I guess. So, I mean, if, if Becky got eight, I mean, that's, yeah. Art is Art fun. fun. Yeah. All right. That's I want to. <laughs> I want to end with the music category. So we'll do the Harry Potter Marvel one. Bobby, I anguished for this because I was like, I don't know these movies all that well. So I don't know what, you know, what's too hard, what's too, actually, and none of them seem hard. So, well, five Harry Potter questions, five Marvel movie questions. We'll see what's what here. Let me just get back down to the bottom of this chat. All right. I will. All right. So, uh, the Harry Potter ones, I came up with two of them. Three of them I stole from the internet. And these are just from the movies because I didn't read the books. So, 
What time does the Hogwarts Express depart? Ooh, video game category. And then maybe, yeah, that's not a bad idea, Matt. That could be next. No one got it right. Harry and Ron both missed it because it leaves at 11 a.m. sharp. Our answer was in central time. Does that count? <laughs> well, it's whatever the British, uh, the London time zone is. So, all right. What type of port key was used to transport Harry and his crew to the World Cup of Quidditch? <laughs> I know, Matt. I, I felt the same way too when I uh, watched these movies. All right, so Quack Attack got it right. It, it, it was a boot, an old boot, right in the middle of the field. All right, number three. How many years did the Weasleys have Scrabbers, or whatever the hell his name is, as a pet rat? That's his name, right? Scrabbers. Scabbers. Scabbers, yeah. Oh, I added, I added an R there. Scabbers. Matt Banky getting it right here with 12. He was your pet rat for 12 years. That was a guess, wasn't it, Matt? I hope I'm right on this one. I think I, I, think I am. All right. How many presents does Dudley count from his parents on the morning of his 11th birthday? Can you repeat that one again? Yes. Uh, how many presents does Dudley count from his parents on the morning of his 11th birthday? Yeah, I knew it. Well, that's left in soon. All right, the answer was 36. And I've checked it three times on the internet. So no one got it right. This one I definitely wrote to make myself feel better about Harry Potter knowledge, thinking that Bobby would be four for four. All right, which Weasley sibling more recently appeared in another sci-fi movie series, this time in more of a villainous role? You can give me the name of the sibling or the actor or even the villain that he's in this other series. So you're saying it's not Ginny. It's not Ginny. I did say <laughs> he. Yeah. Matt, you weren't far off.
The answer was uh, the actor's name is Donald Gleason, who played Bill Weasley, who was General Hux in the current Star Wars trilogy. The minute I saw his face, I'm like, look, look, there he is. And he's like, who? Hux. I hope he dies in this movie. So surprisingly, Bobby and Matt are tied with one apiece in that round. That took me an hour to write that for one point. So here are the uh, Marvel. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Matt. You're right. Spoiler. He was the serpent. All right. Number one. Well, actually, number six. Uh, what borough of New York is Spider-Man from? For one point. For a bonus point, what's the neighborhood? And it is mentioned in the current adaptation of movies. In big, bold letters in one of the movies. All right. He is from Queens. Captain America is from Brooklyn. And the neighborhood, he is from Forest Hills, Queens, which is a real place. And one day I'll do the tour where I go see the house from the first movie. All right. Number seven. What is the name of the boy who helps Tony repair his broken suit in Iron Man 3? <clears throat> Loving Bobby's face now. That movie sucked. I like that movie. It's horrible. You're horrible. That one is the best one. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it, it is Iron the best. Iron Man one. 2 is garbage. I like Iron Man 2 because of Sam Rockwell. Justin Hammer. He didn't save it. Didn't save it. Justin Hammer is a savagely underrated villain. Can I guess, Bobby? No. You know, I had just looked him up recently because I was trying to figure out who the one kid was in the uh, the funeral part. Yeah. I was like, who's that random person? And I can't remember his name. Oh, no. So then you got nothing? All right. Uh, his name, his name was Harley. Joey Harley. Who helps out the mechanic. All right. So then, what is the name of Scott Lang's daughter in Ant-Man? Scott Lang's daughter. I've still never seen Ant-Man. Well, okay. She's also in Endgame. Oh, yeah, you're right. Her name is Cassie. Cassie. All right. Here's a, a one point or a two point question. Two MCU actors, being Marvel Cinematic Universe, Matt, are once portrayed the same superhero in two different movies. So they're in the MCU now, but they each portrayed the same hero in another Marvel adaptation. So if you could tell me who the character they played is and which two actors I'm talking about, it's a point for each thing. Okay. Two actors. Same role 
in another Marvel adaptation that has nothing to do with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There are the other 30 some odd Marvel movies that exist outside of it. Two actors portrayed the same role in two different versions of the same movie. Really? That's right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Kathy. I'll give you a cheap two points if you can give me another Hulk. That's not uh, what's his nose because it is a now I think about it, it is a poorly worded question. Give me like the easiest Hulk that there is because technically that is a Marvel movie. I didn't think about that. Or just put down, just type in the word Hulk. That's a free point. That's not that's not what I meant, but I didn't think about that. <sighs> Becky's thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> Are you waiting on me? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. The answers I was looking for was the Human Torch, played by Captain America, Chris Evans and Killmonger, Michael B. Jordan. What I didn't expect was the Hulk, which is technically Marvel movies that exist outside of those movies played by Edward Norton and Lou Ferrigno. So Kathy gets three points. All right, last question to this, and then we can move on to the music thing. All right, Jake Gyllenhaal, who was awesome as Mysterio in Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, also, almost, played a Marvel superhero in the early 2000s. Who did he almost play? I'm sorry, I missed the beginning of the question. Oh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Spider-Man Far From Home, so that's an MCU movie, is Mysterio, almost played a Marvel superhero in the early 2000s. Who did he almost play? Would have been a big deal. Hold on, I'm sorry, say it one more time. Okay, Jake Gyllenhaal, yeah. who, was, who was in Spider-Man Far From Home, Thank you. It almost played another Marvel superhero in the early 2000s. Back in between 2003-ish, Tobey Maguire hurt his back because he was not happy with the Spider-Man pay. The studio almost got Jake Gyllenhaal to be Spider-Man for Spider-Man 2 instead of bringing back Tobey Maguire because he was dating uh, Kirsten Dunst at the time. And he looked kind of like Tobey Maguire-ish. So the answer is Spider-Man. So I, I made sure I included the movie he was in recently to help. All right. So Floyd he, said Spider-Man, and I'm like, no, that's not right. That's why I had you repeat the question, and now he's giving me shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At the end of that round, uh, Quack Attack got five right. They uh, came back after a disastrous Harry Potter stint. Uh, Becky got two, Kathy got two, and Matt got two. So I tested this out with Bobby earlier. I hope that it still works. Actually, no, now that you guys are all on, let me try this one more time. Make sure that you guys can all hear music and then we'll continue on with this. Can you guys hear this? All 
All right. You guys can hear that then. All right. So this is where I hope to stump the quack attack. I wrote these with you two in mind at the bottom there, Becky and Kathy. Sorry, Matt. I'll, I'll do the games and whatnot. Time to go. <laughs> All right. Music from movies. This 2004 indie darling ends with the two, two of the main characters playing tetherball as this song plays in the background. And it's been on stars all week. Answer is Napoleon Dynamite. Yes. I could. I kept trying to type dynamite, and my phone kept like changing it. I'm like, that dynamite in her like It wouldn't let me type dynamite, and then I finally figured it out. <laughs> so I took so long. It's all right. All right. So the next song, 1987. This movie designed the ending to look like a window display with the two main characters, Jonathan Stitcher and Emmy, getting married as Hollywood officiates. Ah, uh, I love it. Seki just destroyed it. You're gonna learn a lot about my taste of movies and music in this round. These are the songs that when they start playing a trivia, me and Kevin look at each other and be like, is that you? <laughs> I seriously want to watch this like right now. I had to go to my, my parents' house to buy my, my, my DVD and I got it back. So I have it here somewhere. All right, everyone but Matt got it right. Yes, it is Mannequin. All right. Hang on, hang on one second. What is it? Just okay, just let it play. You're you're in here messing around. Just let it play with it. Why? All right, go ahead. Okay. Go, go go help him, go help him get it, into it. All right. I need the specific movie. This movie. This song is from. Answer. 
you had the sequel part right, but it's Karate Kid 2, not mm. Ghostbusters 2. Although I had the song for that too. So we finally stumped Quack Attack on one of them. Yes. Yay. All right. What movie features a completely out of place for the time period dance sequence with this song? You giving up? Wildly inappropriate for that time period. That was A Knight's Tale. A big dance sequence in the middle of that movie. What? You gotta watch it. It's pretty awesome. Alright. So, when Amy and I started dating, yeah. Believe it or not, this is one of my favorite things to do when we were dating. During the height of Freddie Prince Jr. Mania, what movie features this song as this date, Lainey, Bri Lainey Boggs walks down the stairs? Yeah. What year did the night tale I know, man. Okay, fine. Okay. It's how it goes. Here it is. Okay, I got everybody. Sorry, I gave the wrong points to the wrong people. All right. The answer, of course, is she's all that. Amy and I used to watch Freddy Prince Jr. movies all afternoon, and it was, I love them now. I hate, I hate her. All right. Uh, number six. I'm going to do the thing you guys hate when Matt does it. I'm going to sing, or no, sorry, speak the lyrics to a song. Musical. Oh. Mm, like this guy. I think you two at the bottom should know it. I'll just. You two. You guys ready? I will just speak these lyrics. You don't know your questions. I drink champagne with kings and queens. The oh. politicians praised my name. I don't 
but those are someone else's dreams, the pitfall of the man I became. For years and years, I chased their cheers, the crazy speed of always needing more. But when I stop and see you here, I remember who all this was for. I had to think I'd love it at the end. Was that hard for you, Daddy? Was it hard to not sing it? Yeah. A little bit. I'm a terrible singer. Oh, Becky's thinking. Do I have to speak them again? Should I play the song now? Would that help? Yeah. Play it, play it, play it, play it. Okay, calm down. I drink champagne with peeps, please. Politicians raise my name. Someone else's dreams. Man, I be gay. For years and years, I chased that But so what movie is that for you? Crazy speed of yeah. always needing more. But when I, I stop and see you here, I remember who all this was for. From now on, these eyes will not be blinded by your voice. From now on, the way that talks about our hearts tonight, it's ours tonight. Where they promise to restart, why can't they open in my heart? From now on, from now on, yeah, he's thinking really hard. This is from a trivia night at Rand's head. No. Sorry, Olivia. Yeah. The movie was The Greatest Showman. Oh, no. I was embarrassed at trivia that I didn't know the damn movie. I saw it and I immediately bought the soundtrack. All right. Let's move on here to question number seven. I'm so disappointed. I couldn't, I had one of those like. Well, maybe, maybe you'll bounce back here because we're the same age. Well, she's close. Coming, All right. Mommy. With a soundtrack featuring the Cranberries, Better Than Ezra, Ezra, oh Till the Wet Sprocket, and most famously this Jim Blossom song, this 1995 film follows, oh, Group of friends in this personal drama while also trying to get their independent store from being swallowed up by corporate greed. The 1995 movie, five, uh, five friends, they worked at a store who was almost being bought by a corporate store.
All right, Matt, I'm going to assume that you'll know how to the answer is. But Becky, or Becky, Kathy is right. It is Empire Records. Good movie, amazing soundtrack. All anagram next time. The problem for Quack Attack is Mr. Bob told me that he was about things between the 90s and 2000. Should have never gave me that weakness. All right. I hope this one's a little easier. Blaine or Ducky? The second in this second movie in this category featuring Andrew McCarthy and James Spader. This movie features this song as Annie walks into the prom with Ducky. I, I couldn't believe that Spader was in that movie too. I forgot he was in that movie. I know McCarthy was in Mannequin and that movie, but I forgot James Spader was too. But yes, it is Pretty in Pink. All right, so to go along with that, this should be an easy question too, as I play the song. A brain, an athlete, a basket case, a princess and a criminal. Leave a letter for the principal as this song plays at the end of the movie. I just want to binge all these movies now. You have the answer, Kathy? Matt, who'd I send oh. it to? Who'd I send it to? Matt, god damn it. Matt, answer the question. You have the answer. Hold on. Of course it is the club. Yeah, I sent it to Matt. I was wondering why he messaged me back and said, sounds delicious. I was like, what? And then I realized I sent my answer to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was question nine, right? All right, the last question in this category. Go West had a huge hit in the 90s with this song as Edward Lewis gets lost in Beverly Hills. I can't hear it. Now I've given you a look at what I've been doing for the last two months. The answer is Pretty Woman. 
Edward Lewis gets lost. All right. So at the conclusion of that round, I have Quack Attack with four. Uh, Becky got eight of them. Does that sound right, Becky? Or did I miss one? I thought she did better than that, too. No, she missed that movie. So you got nine. You have nine. My fault. Oh, I, I do have it here. My chicken scratch messed it up. Yes. Uh, Kathy with six. Ew. And, that's it? Yeah. And Matt. So disappointed. We'll give, we'll give him one for the uh, cheap answer. I froze on a couple that I was really pissed about. I well, sent you the greatest showman answer because I know that you knew it, but I guess you didn't see it. Oh, I was so <laughs> mad. I'm like, oh man, I didn't see that. Damn. So, I mean, Quack Attack wins again. Oh, back I do see that now. I know you know this. <laughs> back to back champions. Damn. Oh, well. So that was a fun one. I, I, I wrote that last round with you, with you and Becky in mind. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. So, what are the what were the scores? Oh, uh, let me get out the old calculator here, because I'm stupid. Not stupid, it's something I do. All right. So, Quack Attack has thirty-two. Oh, I only lost four. Oh, so you know what you you know what you have then? Yeah. Okay. Kathy has I recruited Xander for the Harry Potter questions, but he wasn't really any help. Well, twenty one. And then Matt has Matt had nineteen. So I guess you had twenty yeah, twenty eight then, Becky. It totally doesn't matter, but I got seven right that last round. <laughs> <laughs> just went to, I just went back and counted my answers. Just now like, I have to write questions for Matt specifically because he's put up a lot of a lot of our crap, a lot of our pop culture stuff. Maybe some space stuff. Maybe I got two weeks to figure it out, but one of them will definitely be one of those uh, last letter, first letter things. Oh, <laughs> nobody would show up if I did Matt's, Matt's categories. Well, I could do the video I would 100% show up for Matt's category. Yeah. Or maybe you should write it, Matt, and then have us, have me do it. Oh, God. Um, I don't know about uh, that. No. <laughs> I, I, once it left my lips, I realized how crazy that like sounds. Like, I won't, I won't get any. <laughs> Not that so, I will anyway. Sounds like work. It was a good four hours it took me the, the first time to write the first four rounds of questions. It was fun. Because I, you know, do research. I, the music one I had pretty much in hand. I would drive to like Target or whatever and the song would come on. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, including, I'm including that. Yeah, I didn't have to buy any of the songs that I had for the music round. That shows you my iPod is full of 80s and 90s and I didn't even do like musical score. I just did like songs for movies. I could have done a whole separate thing on instrumental score. Yeah. Yeah. Nerd. I like the, the music round though. That was fun. Me too. I know you guys like that at Ram's Head. Yeah. Yeah. Ram's Head. <sighs> One day. Well, I mean, shouldn't they have outdoor seating? You think they'll do outdoor trivia ever? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking they're probably opening that beach part up, but I don't know if they'll do. I know. Yeah, a lot of places are definitely opening up their their outside and just limiting tables. Yeah. Yeah, like it's a limit of six people, and we have at least eight people on our team, and then my kids and whatnot too. Yeah. It's a big old mess. So it's until for, yeah. So until further notice, it's just this, I guess. Yeah. We only have four, so your kids could sit at our table. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Like, bye, kids. You gotta go sit over there. Sorry. <laughs> They'd probably be totally fine with it. Yeah. Yeah. What's <laughs> what's Especially Camden. He's carries playing Switch. He's fine. Yeah. That's funny. Although the, Olivia would want to be in the middle of it. She's got to be in the middle of everything. Yeah. She's so no she's so nosy. What are you doing? It's adult stuff. Go away. <laughs> so, it's good to see you guys. I miss yeah. you guys. Ditto. Yeah, I'm really mad. We totally would have. I we could have um, had everybody drive past your house to get that selfie just to mess with Frank. So I I thought about that. I've, I've had that idea since like October of last year. I good. And I think I, I I told Bobby about it and he laughed and everything. And I think even as early as or as as late as like two weeks ago, I'm like I'm gonna text everybody. Just send me a picture of themselves in their LG <laughs> shirts. And maybe have someone have like a happy birthday Brett sign or something. And then I forgot. The problem is I knew his birthday was the 29th, but I forgot the dates. Like I forgot yesterday was the 29th. Yeah, that yeah. happens. <laughs> or it, it would have been it would have been hilarious, you know, everyone but him. Yeah. So yeah. instead, instead it was midnight, Saturday morning. You know, I'm, I'm playing PS4. I'm like, oh god, it's midnight. I mean, let me check my Facebook. For memories and i'm like oh yeah yeah there it is it's his birthday shoot so then i had to download all these pictures quickly and create the collage and then also be up earlier than bobby to post it before his uh his football slash softball team which brent had a birthday which they never did i had to beat bobby at that too it's funny <laughs> we're so competitive for, brent, <laughs> for brent's love uh. He said, uh, Matt said, what would be a good category for Brent? <sighs> Douchebags? Douchebaggery, yeah. Uh, country music. He's been cooking a lot lately. Cooking and cell phone text rings. As long as they all go. Ch -ch -ch I've had that etched into my brain. Like, you know that, that meme, like, you can't hear pictures? I have, picture, I have a picture of him on his phone, and all I hear is. Ch -ch. <laughs> so, all right, um, two weeks, right? So it won't be next Sunday. Two Sundays from now, trivia night three, trivia forever. Because everything I do has to have a title or a theme or something. I can't just hey, we're doing trivia tonight. Oh, what was that um, freebie one that you put up? I could not figure it out. What was that from? Oh, the, yeah, the, the freebies. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, the title for this one was uh, Trivia Night 2, The Search for No Money. In every Mel Brooks movie, well, I wouldn't say every one of them, but in a lot of them, he often hints at a sequel that never exists. In Spaceballs, they were all going to be together in Spaceballs 2, The Search for More Money. Uh, and Spaceballs is like my favorite movie, if it's not Spider-Man 2, I'd say. I haven't seen it in a very long time. Right. And then... Um, the other free, the other freebie was that the sign. I just I knew it was on Facebook. I just I forgot to look for it. It was a Newcastle Brown Ale. Oh yeah, I remember that. I just forgot the answer too because um, I remember thinking that um, that was one of Floyd's beers when you showed it to me or told us about it. And I'm just like, do people think the freebies are lame? And I should stop. No, honestly, I just had such a busy week. I for mm. I forgot. Yeah. No, I like the freebies. I do like the freebies. Keep them up. I just okay. forgot. I'll, I'll think of some random crap to ask over the next two weeks for freebies. Especially in mass categories. I think we're going to need them. Yeah. All the freebies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Matt, you're cool with video games? If you say what's funny is on a bar sign for Guinness and Newcastle Brown and don't actually serve it. <laughs> I, I, I meant to sell that sign. It's out in my shed. So we could, I'm going to eventually so that we can use it for lime green functions because clearly I'm not using it. But it's just funny that the, the guy who doesn't drink alcohol has this alcoholic sign. Yeah, it reminded me of a gun rack. <laughs> exactly. What am I going to do with a gun rack? <laughs> well, I definitely have to do this on Zoom again since I've already paid to host this for a month. Oh, so, that sucks. 
Yeah, they, that took was, it away. they took the freebie away now that they're opening things up, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. So I guess now they're charging, or people were using this too much. They yeah. Weren't, they weren't getting their cut. So um, I've at least paid for a month. So the next one will be on Zoom. And then if, if we continue on doing this, I guess, I think Facebook now has one. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Do we'll research. have to see if it works the same way where you can send like the private message. And... Yeah. Yeah. Matt did his first one on Facebook and there was a lag problem. Oh, that's right. That's right. There was a reason why we did it on Zoom. Yeah, because it's like a five second lag. And Well, I think isn't there like messenger rooms now? Hmm. Oh. I saw something on TV where it's different than like streaming Facebook Live. I need the portal. Whatever that portal thing that they sell is. <laughs> we use... Um, Microsoft Teams for work, but I have no idea if they charge for that. But it's the same thing. You can mm -hmm. chat and do like multiple videos like Zoom. What do they what do the kids use for school? Uh, Google, Google yeah. Classroom. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't think we're qualified for that. <laughs> but is, isn't there a, a Google Meets? Well maybe Amanda can get us in. No, oh, maybe. It's good for something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. So, all right, I, I owe Olivia uh, trolls too for not participating in this. <laughs> I, 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 I told her, to go, I told her to go. Well, actually, that and the fact that uh, Camden got Sonic the Hedgehog, the DVD, and we made her watch it. Mm. The like, new Sonic? Yeah. Is that out? It is. So, you know, we, he, he and I saw it in the theaters, and we both, I thought it was better than it was going to be. So I'm kind of hyped for it. And then, he did not want to watch Trolls. She didn't want to watch Sonic. You know, that how, how the kids are. So I was like, all right, if you watch Trolls, he'll watch Sonic. But we watched Sonic first because I went and bought the Blu-ray at Target. Because Trolls, you got to order it on yeah. whatever on-demand thing. So we watched Sonic. She, she's a liar. She was laughing at this <laughs> too. Avery wants to see that. We haven't seen that one. It's really good. Like, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I just watched Frozen 2 last night with no children because my boys have no interest. So Gary watched it with me. I'm like, I really want to see Frozen 2. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I liked it. It's not bad. Yeah. Trolls is really good. I like Trolls. I haven't I seen the second one, but I enjoyed the first one. Well, yeah, the think, second uh, one's really good. I think we're going to have dinner and then we're going to check it out tonight. Oh, two of them. Nice. Did she watch High School Musical yet? <sighs> Hang on a second. Olivia, come here. Who knows? I just feel like with all this time, she should yeah, right. watch it. <laughs> definitely watch it. I think she has. Okay. She's coming. Uh, as, she's, as she's wearing a Wildcats t-shirt right now. Did you, yes. watch, did you watch all the High School Musical movies? No, not yet. You haven't watched them yet? I've, I've watched one and two, and I've seen like the third. Oh, okay, so you haven't finished the third movie yet. Well, the third one is the best one. So. <laughs> Becky said number three is the best one. I saw it five times in the theater. <laughs> nice. And it what? still makes me cry. She watched, she watched all the zombies, so, though. So far, I think two of them. Nah, I wasn't crazy about those. Oh. And The Descendants. What'd you say? Yeah. Tell her so far, I think number two is the best. She likes number two the best out of the two that she's seen. That's understandable. It is what it is. She is a little wildcat. Matt. If Maybe I that's because it. they actually let um, Zac Efron sing his own songs <laughs> in the second one. And the yeah. first one is not actually his voice. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Because he can sing. Apparently, so that I have the Greatest Showman soundtrack on my phone. <laughs> I'm so mad about it. I tried. I remember that trivia night, and I'm like, I gotta include one of those songs on there. And yet, my my poor speaking voice. I mean, even Becky was thinking about it. It's just hard when you say the words. It is. It, I'm still saying it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you. No problem. Please, yeah. Thanks for putting it together, Kev. I, I will do anything I have to do to hang out with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. All right, Mr. Bob, thank you. Matt, thank you for putting up with our with our crap.
and we'll we'll find some categories for you, brother. I thought sports was gonna be your thing. I mean, you did well at sports, right? Your sports questions were pretty hard. Were they really? I'm just saying that because I didn't get any of them. <laughs> Except for like the Bron the Ford Bronco. Right. Like I don't want to be braggadocious, but if I didn't write these questions, I still would have nailed this entire uh, uh, round. Actually, the, all all the rounds. But I wrote the questions, so it makes sense. But but Matt will tell you a lot of times that he will he would have not gotten the question had he written had he not written it. Like especially when it comes to Star Wars, I'm like, no, I would have nailed every question had I not written this category or this test. But it's all stuff in my wheelhouse. You know, that's why I wrote it because it's it's stuff that I know. Yeah. Like Mr. Mr. Bob wants to do presidents. And I'm like, <laughs> you, you write the questions because you're the one watching the show and we'll answer it. <laughs> I only got to the point after watching this president series on history that I can name all the presidents from Washington and Trump. I could never do that because in the eighteen hundreds it gets really goofy. And lots of guys came in and they were around for a year and they died and a lot of weird stuff happens. All right, there you go, Mr. Bob. Uh, what, what's the most common presidential name? That six, one I'm not sure. I'll, I'll go with James. Yeah, six presidents had the, had the name James. It's funny. I learned that on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. One Just of my that. questions I created, I, I, I did like 10 or 15 questions, but one of them was how many presidents were former generals? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's out there, Chewy? How many presidents I'm what? Surprised. How many how many presidents were former generals? <sighs> oh. Right. I, I'm I surprised how many it really was. I got a one of 45 shot of me on this. I'm gonna go I'll give you a hint, it's not 45. Yeah. I'm gonna go just to throw a number out there, I'll go seven. Wait, what's Anybody the question? Else? What's the question? You wouldn't know. How, how many presidents? Ooh were generals before they became president. How many presidents were generals before they became a president? No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> seven. I just threw out seven. So far, that's the closest. Anybody else want to guess? Four. Five. Thirteen. Ooh. Thirteen. Question. I guess. I guess a lot of the early presidents were generals. You that makes got sense. Grant, um, you got Eisenhower, um, Andrew Jackson, um, and there was a couple others back then. Cool. I was surprised it was, it was that many. Cool. See, what is he like? Yeah, that, that is surprising. I thought uh, less than 10 was definitely going to be a winner. Three eggs, yeah. ice cream. Brian chose less than five. All right, guys, I want to end this. All right. Good night. Thank you, guys. See you. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.